Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Our first ever promo with live cards related to pro players dropped today in FC24. It is the FC Pro Live promo, and I want to take a look at the leaks that we have. Is this promo going to be exciting today, or will the most exciting thing be an SBC that's already available that's going to be refreshing today in this base hero upgrade? We're going to talk about that and why maybe the promo today isn't going to be that amazing, but... That's on purpose by EA. We'll talk about it and, of course, what part of the market to really hone in on today and maybe make a little bit of an investment on as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content because it was a usual quiet Thursday, so we'll make it fast. First of all, we had a player of the month Verts SBC, which actually, as we head all the way back here, since we have so many player SBCs available right now, this is actually a solid card. I was really hoping that Harry Kane would win, but it was Florian Verts instead. Four star, four star. If they would have given him 80 pace, this card would be uh, very hyped, but 79 is just that one rating below, so it doesn't get as much hype. A solid card for 23,000 coins as an 83 rated squad to do. Pretty easy there. No problem with that from EA. They just updated it with a dynamic image of him holding the Player of the Month trophy as well. Along with it yesterday, we had the EFL Championship Squad Foundations and SBC. We had Holgate as the SBC player. And then, of course, some decent cards inside of Objectives. I mean... Again, they're, they're squad foundations. They're not amazing, but these ones, I don't think they're that bad, actually. The rudder card looks pretty decent. Mavdidi looks okay. Kone looks okay. So if you want some EFL links there, those cards are available, and they're pretty easy to do. And, of course, we had the marquee matchups SBC, which did supply some cards a little bit on the market. And I want to give a quick shout to Objectives once again, because we're in the final six days now of getting to level 20. A lot of you guys are getting to level 20, and you're like, Nate, do I take the 86 times 3 or do I take the 87 times 2? I'm all about the 86 times 3 purely because it's a triple walkout pack and you get three different players. I would rather have three 86s than two 87s just because it's three players. I don't know. That's just me. But a lot of people are hitting that threshold because of the weekly objectives that refreshed yesterday as well. So there's some nice XP to be had after yesterday's content to get towards level 20. And that was basically all that we had yesterday. Of course, though, we had more leaks and news of what to look forward to today on this game. I'm going to go straight into the leaks, guys, and talk about the cards that we are getting today. It started off by Foot Sheriff leaking Calvin Phillips. And we started to notice a trend with a little bit of this as well. We'll talk about it. I believe it is known that Calvin Phillips is going to be the live card that is represented by text so it's gonna be a very very popular card and these are predicted stats i hope ea actually give these guys a decent boost a lot of these players in this promo of course have not had live items yet so uh i hope that they give them a nice boost that's going to be a really key part of content today is the boost on the cards because of course they're live items i could see ea actually not boosting them that much um because of that but we'll have to see this this calvin phillips card is not going to be the most meta in game in my opinion unless they add some play styles to cards today which i don't believe they're going to do but i think that card's going to be just okay and i think a lot of these are going to end up being pretty cheap we'll have to see genro is a card that's being added to come as well he needs some play styles he literally has none and this guys is going to be the card i believe that is going to be partnered up with Mark 11 from Footwiz. As you'll start to notice, a lot of the players that have been leaked match up with one of the nationalities of the participants that are in this tourney. So I think Mark 11 is going to be matched up with General. And again, it is believed that is that Calvin Phillips is going to be the card that upgrades for Tex. Colo Mani is one of the bigger name players in this promo. He is leaked to be in. It is official. The only problem is. I don't think he's going to be 89 rated. That's a massive boost. Like, you think EA is going to drop an 89 rated Kolomani who could potentially get another, like, plus three or plus four after getting all those upgrades as a part of this live progression into February, right? I don't think he's going to be that high rated. 86 or 87 seems very possible for a card like this today. So this one's probably juiced too much. So just be careful with believing those. Now, here's one that kind of breaks the trend, right? All of these so far have a player, a pro player, with the same nationality as the player. But Mane, right? There is nobody with the same nationality as Mane in the pro tournament. There are a couple of Saudi Arabian players. So maybe, since he's in the Saudi League, they will be matched up with him. But Mane is going to be an FC Live player as well. And uh, 
Hopefully, they give him a decent upgrade on top of the card that he already is. That could be a decent card and, of course, potential to upgrade. Simi Khan, French center back in the Bundesliga, is going to be getting in here. Um, like, this could be a really nice card again. But it comes down to the ratings. It comes down to the boost. Makengo, another French card, coming as an item soon. Guys, like, when I look at these leaks, and when we look through a few more, Danielle Malin, okay, that's a bit exciting. Willian, right? This might be the most exciting card dropping on the game today because we haven't had a Willian card since... What was it FIFA 21, I think? He had a gold card, and then FIFA 20, he had some other items. We were looking at it yesterday on the stream. It's been a minute since we had a Willian promo card. Hopefully, they gave him a nice boost, and there are a couple of Brazilians that are in uh, this competition, so he could be represented by either uh, number of those. But the promo team, as we take a look through these leaks and we look at these players, it just doesn't look that Good guys, to be completely honest. Now, we don't have the full team leaked for sure. We have 20 different pro, pl pro players, and they should all be represented by one player. But we could have SBC. We will have SBCs and objective players as a part of this promo as well. I'm not expecting to have all 20 on the game today. I would not be surprised if maybe there's like 14 or 15 of them in packs. You have a couple SBCs that are going to come out between now and next Thursday. And then maybe an objective player or two as well. So maybe we only have like 13, 14 players in packs today plus a mini release on Sunday, that sort of thing could get us to all 20. I believe they're going to represent every single player with a pro card that would make the most sense, but we will have to see. There's just a lot of like ins and outs, I think, that we're going to learn about these cards today um, that EA is going to have to tell us about because this is something that we've never had before and it is brand new. Now, of course, for SBC players, we do have Chucky Lozano as a part of the promo today. I'm guessing this seems more like a promo Friday SBC type of player than Locatelli does. Those are the two SBCs that have been leaked so far. So my guess is Lozano's today, but it could be Locatelli as well, or maybe both. Who knows? I'd also really be interested today. Of course, promos usually run for a full seven days, right? Of course, you look at like the countdown screens here. Everything says, you know, that, you know, seven days, even the team of the weeks, right? Seven days. I would not be surprised if... These FC Pro Live players are not in packs for a full week because next week on Thursday is Thanksgiving, also the day before Black Friday, which is usually when they start like the best of, and they kind of start the whole Black Friday promo a bit early. So I would not be surprised actually if we only had these cards in packs for like five days. Maybe they go out of packs on Wednesday or on Thursday before EA starts to build up the hype for Black Friday. That's one thing that I would watch out for today. And again, I'm, I'll mention it. I don't know. I think these cards might be pretty packable. Um, they're live cards and not all the time are live cards pretty packable. But also when you look at the names that are in this team, unless we have some other ones that are coming, it doesn't look that amazing. It looks kind of mid, guys. And I want to talk about that for a second as well. Like, think about this promo. Think about it in general. Why would you want this promo today if you're EA Sports? This is just thinking purely from their perspective, just trying to get some insight onto why I think today's promo might not be that good. Why would you want today's promo to be that crazy and exciting, right? What you're going towards in the next couple of days in this next week with Black Friday, you want that to be a lot of, of the hype. And we talk about it a lot on this channel is that content goes up and down and that is totally calculated. The hype of content being hype and then kind of pulling back and not be as hype, that is totally calculated by EA because they know... Uh, people can't always stay sustained and interested in this game for the whole entire year. They're going to have to, you know, pull pull back a little bit and make them maybe go play Fortnite and COD and then come back. Oh, when it's Black Friday, I'm not expecting today to be a big get a big day, right? I'm really expecting today to be pretty mid based off of how of the leaks look. There could be some good content today, but I'm just telling you guys how I feel and how I expect it to go down in the game today. I'm not expecting any content to be game breaking or absolutely insane. Yeah, there's going to be some great new cards to try out in Weekend League to have some fun with. And they're live, of course. So there is hype today. But I just don't think there's going to be as much hype as there, of course, will be next week for Black Friday and all of that. So that's kind of my opinion there. But I think, like I mentioned in the intro, the most hype part of content today might be an SBC that we've already had that's going to be refreshing today. The base hero upgrade pack refreshes today of course i think it's only what was it an 86 rated squad or an 80 85 rated squad it was pretty cheap it was pretty cheap last time around when we did this sbc 
Uh, I found it on Footbin. Let's click on it right now. It was only 89,000 coins to do. 85 rated squad and an inform. So maybe some informs could be rising a little bit today once again after they dropped yesterday. Also today we have the 84 plus RTTK or Trailblazers upgrade pack that is coming back. So you have two SBCs here that require informs. Watch out for those two coming back today maybe informs could go up a bit after you get some weakened league supply making the current impacts informs drop a little bit that's something to keep an eye on but again this SBC, if you remember last sunday actually made fodder move a good amount so do we need to invest in fodder today well i remember last week when the icon pack refreshed the 84s didn't really move that much I'm not expecting 85s to move that much today either, but if you wanted to take a little bit of a gamble, you probably would be able to get some good lazy sales on some 85s as people would be going out and do that base hero upgrade. Because again, like I mentioned, that and the 84 plus RTTK slash Trailblazers might be some of the best content today to be completely honest. So watch rises on 83s and 85s just because of that, but I wouldn't go crazy because again, think about it. It's a promo Friday, right? And what do we have on promo Fridays? We have weekend league rewards that are open and all the store packs give out rare golds and they give out 83s and 84s and 85s, especially with some of the store packs that have been added to the code that we're expecting to see today. There's some big time packs that are incoming, um, especially as we look at some of the FC Pro ones, right? In 86 or higher, guaranteed two, you get 40 rare gold items. Uh, FC Pro Live Foundations Pack, which is 25 golds, 185 plus. Those are the not so exciting packs. These are the ones that are interesting. Elite Season 1 Encore Pack, 40 rare golds, two of them guaranteed to be RTTK or Trailblazers rated 86 or above. I mean, that's kind of like the 84 plus RTTK type of gamble, but a higher rating, which is going to remove a lot of Road of the Knockouts and Trailblazers and make that a very interesting pack for a lot of people to try. That pack's going to sell good whenever it's, whenever it's released, whether it's today on Friday, sometime during the weekend for sure, we're going to get both of these. But this one with the two players, 86 or above from those two promos, that'll be hyped. And then there's a bit smaller one, an 85 plus though, not an 86, but an 85 plus and 15 rare gold players. Those are the two biggest untradeable packs that have been added to the code. We have an 87 plus times three pack and also an 11 gold players pack, including one rare and also a couple other random packs, uh, a season two act one booster pack. This sounds like it's a pack that's going to give you XP. Guys, I don't think this is going to be in the store. I think this is just a pack via an SBC um, somewhere or maybe even in objectives that you claim that's going to give you some XP. But I really doubt unless that's like a 10K pack, which I could see EA making a 10K pack and then giving XP out for it. But this almost just seems like it's going to be an SBC or uh, something in objectives that you would be able to claim to get a little bit of extra XP in this season. So there's that. One thing I wanted to point out as well is this was a late pack edition that... Um, foot scoreboard dropped a campaign mix pack like a scampaign party bag this is the first one now that includes not just one or two different promos but three you've got road of the knockouts trailblazers and centurions except for the centurions icons all packable from this pack i don't know when this is going to be it might not be until next week it might be a couple of days from now this might be a pack that honestly makes 83s and 84s go up during black friday as ea says here is an opportunity to pack promo cards from this campaign mixed pack that you can do x number of times per day during black friday that's maybe what we're getting out with this sbc i don't expect to see it today but maybe we could see that today as well so just watch out for that. That pack has been added to the code. But like I'm mentioning, guys, I'm not expecting a big and crazy day today in terms of content on this game. Now, let's talk about some market stuff because of that, right? I still have a couple of cards on my transfer list. I've sold most of the fodder. There's been a couple of trades that I've done in the past couple of days. I am lazy listing still some 85s. You can see I get lazy sales on them now and again. A couple of cards I'm flipping at the moment as well the market in general some of your rare cards have actually started to like go up in value just because again this last week of content was kind of slow kind of mid and i think there could be opportunities today that if after content stuff is viewed as another mid promo like the new promo that comes out today if it is viewed as mid i could actually see some cards maybe from centurions maybe from trailblazers like i could see some of those cards also some of the triple threat cards that are leaving packs since these are decently hyped I could see them going up today, guys. It probably wouldn't last forever, but you know how we've seen in the past couple of weeks after content, there is usually on some of the more rare out-of-pack special cards. Last week, it happened, and it worked really, really great for me with the Sun Trailblazer, right? 
He went from 1.05 back up to almost 1.2 mil where I was able to sell the card. There might be opportunities to trade like that today with out of packs cards like from Centurions, maybe the triple threat, right? Usually the promo team that is going out of packs right away at around a new content drop has a little bit of extra hype. So I would watch triple threats today for sure. Uh, I'm not really investing in a ton of these, but Tiago, Karchawi, Kirby, Grealish, Carnival Hall, and some of the heroes as well. Not having heroes and icons impacts this week after having them impacts in some way, shape, or form for the last three weeks with Centurions and Triple Threat will make packs today seem probably a little bit less hype. So I could see a slight rebound on the market after content on the out of packs market. But once again, guys, I would be just, I would be very careful. I would be very careful with anything that is gold because I do believe that during this weekend, and it might even happen today around the content drive, it might start to happen today after content for sure, is people starting to sell cards, getting ready, getting their weekly games done, getting cards out, and probably not a lot of people buying cards because of Black Friday coming this next week. Usually the weekend before Black Friday is where you see, again, some pretty big price drops. And again, like I mentioned in the previous videos this week, I think I would expect to see those price drops the most on out of packs informs from earlier team of the weeks from centurions i just believe that some of these guys are up like holland's 700k that's up like 70,000 coins from where he was during the week harry kane is up so yes some prices are up but i don't think that's going to last all weekend just because of the nature of where we are and what is upcoming in the next week on this game so again i use a word i would say to you use caution right use caution with any of these out of packs promo cards um because there could be some spikes today if there are that could be a really really good time to get out now also this weekend what a lot of people are looking forward to and looking at for an investment opportunity is sbc fodder and i don't think fodder is going to drop a ton this weekend because i think everybody is going to be investing in it and it's honestly not a bad time to invest in it because if we have an l promo content day today if we don't have really great sbcs we probably won't get anything insane tomorrow on saturday sunday maybe we get an icon pack right it's probably around the time today and then tomorrow on saturday at the latest that if you see higher rated fodder dropping anymore it probably is the time to stock your club and to get in on that. This is the double dip scenario that we um, mentioned earlier in the week. Fodder dropped like Osman was 24.8K, dropped down to 23.8, back up a little bit. But with weekend league rewards today before content and, and even packs after content, shoot, they might drop lightning rounds again. You don't know, chat. Like, remember, uh, chat, this is YouTube. This is not Twitch. Remember last week, we were watching these triple threat cards and EA dropped the lightning rounds. And then all of a sudden, they just absolutely died. That sort of thing could happen again today. I mean, why would EA drop lightning rounds on a promo Friday like today where there's like, you know, the levels of hype today compared to where it was last week with a brand new promo? Like, yeah, these cards are dropping today upgrade, but like EA, if you drop lightning rounds today, that's going to seem very, I don't know, like snaky, very like greedy almost. So I'm not expecting those today, but it's, it's very possible. We could absolutely get those. Um, so I would say, you know, I'm, I'm going to be careful with fodder today. I think there's going to be opportunities to buy, but I'm going to probably try to get on some bids. And again, I'm doing more so of a club stock, which I have a lot of already. But as we look at every year, we're going to talk about throughout the weekend as we get closer and closer to it coming and into early next week. Fodder is always something that does good during Black Friday because there's just so many different SBCs that are out. So watching the triple threat card today, I have a couple of Kirby just because she's she's pretty rare and she moves a bit. I have Tiago as well. I have two of those at like 88 or 89,000 coins with a good chemistry style. I believe he's like 90, 93 or 4,000 coins. So he's up a little bit. He's just a popular player that people might want to be uh, putting into their teams today. Also, he does link to a card that has been rumored to be in or actually based off of the requirements that were leaked for a new evolution he wouldn't fit i'm talking about gakpo but this is another piece of content that could be coming today could be coming around sunday who knows and we take this with a pinch of salt because these evolution leaks have been a bit shady in the past but foot police tweeted that the left wing evolution is set to come uh an ultimate team soon and when we looked at the requirements for this Guys, there were like, you know, the best card that could go into this was like Cezinha and Trossard. I don't know if you guys saw that Trossard uh, was up. Like he was like 6,000 coins yesterday on the market. Okay, 
Well, no, I'm searching by special. I don't know if he's 6,000 coins now. Let's just double check this search here. Leandro Trossard, take it off a of special. He is currently, yeah, okay, back down to 3,000 coins. Makes um makes a lot of sense, right? These cards just get pumped and dumped with investments. So I do believe there is an Evo coming. I don't know if it's going to be today, but I'm going to keep a close eye on that side of the market as well because that could bring a little bit of hype today. If they drop a random evolution for cards that we want to upgrade, you know, that, that could be good. But also, like, with the way that it looked with the leaks and stuff, um, for the ratings in this evolution, it looked like it was, again, only going to be an opportunity to evolve very low-rated left-wing players, like 82-rated, 81-rated and below, which is a little unfortunate considering we've had a lot of Evos that have been north of that sort of requirement. So it must be an Evo that's going to boost these cards a lot uh, if it's going to be that low of requirements. That's at least how I see it today on this game. So we're going to keep a close eye on the market and close eye on prices. Again, the safest thing you can do right now is be as untradeable as possible. Maybe you're trying a couple of trades today. I would focus on, again, the most rare cards that you can. Informs from this current team league are probably going to drop as we get uh, closer to content just because they're going to get supplied a lot more. So I'll be very, very careful with those. And usually before content, like the hour before, we've been seeing some price drops on impacts cards, specifically some of the um, the fodder cards as well. So it could be a good opportunity to get in on some of those bids if you want to try to invest right before content or just ev everybody's going to be waiting until after content today to buy a lot of high rated fodder because that's when they'll expect the supply. That's why I, I said it earlier, I don't think fodder is going to drop a lot this weekend. I think it's going to be pretty steady, especially on the top tier, because a lot of people are going to just start investing and keep investing if they see prices just keep going lower. But if you're just trying to make a quick flip or if you're trying to buy somebody for your weekend league team, I would tell you go as untradeable as you can, but just be on the lookout for potential flips and potential buy, buy low scenarios. What a great voice crack that was. Buy low scenarios and maybe a little bit of a rebound after some of those. Like right now, Francesco, he's 370. I, I sold him for 400K. Like, yeah, you look at this, and you're like, oh, Nate, you can make 10K right there after tax. And I'm like, well, is it worth it? 10K for 370,000 coins? I, I think I'll just wait. I flipped a couple of them earlier yesterday. If he was going to like 410, then I would do it. But I don't think I am right now. Also, I'm kind of interested in this card, Chowie. I know we have Bacha. I completely understand that. But this is a PSG player that is one of the best. I know Bacha is really sick, so she's good. But Karchawi is insane as well. She's got the PSG links. We're getting a PSG French player today. You know, that's the sort of stuff I'd be on the lookout for. Out of packs cards, but really be careful on the market today. And I do expect gold cards for sure to be dropping after the content drops. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you do. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. I've saved up a couple packs because it's always fun to have a couple packs for promo Friday. So we're going to open up some 84 times threes and see if we get lucky with the live card. And then it would be fun that if I pack one of those, then I can kind of root for that pro and like have that pro as a favorite throughout the tourney. So We'll, we'll talk all about that stuff today on the stream as well. So make sure you check out that link. But I will see you guys there today. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Have a great Friday. Peace.